Hello, I'm uh, Kevin Rice, senior attackman, Syracuse University, and this is our locker room. Rice with one. Oh! It's over! Over Rice. here is my locker. We've got space, uh, little, a little slot for our sticks, uh, cubby holes down low for shoes. Um, everyone has a chair. Uh, you have a nice little lockbox here in case you want to, you know, put phone, wallet, anything in there, keys during practice or when you're working out. Uh, we have plenty of space for gloves and arm pads and uh, other equipment. Space for two helmets up top and uh, up top there above the locker, everyone usually keeps their travel bag and uh, anything else that they might need on the road that you don't need during everyday practice. Um, one of the nice things about these lockers actually is inside there are vents they keep air running so when you put your equipment away after practice or after shoot around um, it doesn't stay damp it'll dry out pretty quickly and it sort of helps keep the smell out of the locker room too because you know, there's 58 of us so it can get pretty bad in here sometimes. Over here we have our coaches keep us supplied pretty nicely with uh, some peanut butter and jelly and fluff and, and bread so that way when guys you know show up uh, a little late for, uh, for practice because they're coming from class they can uh, grab something quick to eat. Um, over here we have uh, two TVs in the front which guys usually watch for practice. Um, that board or the wall over here is actually more of a whiteboard than a wall. Uh, coaches can write on it and uh, that's where the projector uh, goes to and Guys pull up their chairs. We usually have the captain sit up front and we watch film over here. Uh, and actually when uh, we're not watching film, you'll find guys uh, in here pretty much all day, before practice, after practice. Uh, we have an Xbox uh, hooked up to it, so you know there's always an NHL or a FIFA tournament going on if, if you want to get in involved in one. Over here, George, our equipment manager, you know, leaves us a little note for what equipment and what color we're going to be wearing that week. Over here, we've got a bike that guys use to warm up a little bit before practice. I know Nikki Galasso is a big fan of this bike. We've got a, a sound system that Matt Lane has uh, supplied for the team. We, uh, we actually have one in here, but uh, we've gotten in trouble a little bit for playing music too loud. So this little guy comes with us pretty much everywhere we go and is uh, our source uh, for entertainment. And as we move this way, sort of further into the locker room, uh, on the wall over here, we have uh, the other team's uh, lineup card for the week. Uh, it's nice, especially early in the week before we've done film and uh, gotten our scouting reports. Guys come in, you know, check out uh, the position that they might be going against. You know, I'll come in, check out the defenders, see their hands, you know, see if you recognize any names of guys you've played before. What's up, Jay? <laughs> this is Jay McDermott, starting defender. <laughs> On the wall over here, we actually have some of our strength and conditioning uh, winners for different uh, categories. You know, uh, I won't have you zoom in too close. We don't need the world knowing who failed the run test. But over here, sometimes it's called redshirt row. Sometimes we get the higher numbers down here. Some of the freshmen. This board, I know Coach Rogers likes to use it a lot. Um, he'll pull it out after film if he thinks guys need a little extra. Uh, description of what we're doing defensively that week. He'll draw it out. Uh, and then back here is uh, the shower. We have a pretty big shower. There's two main uh, things with the shower heads around it. And guys have sort of made an impromptu shower curtain here, try and keep the steam in. I know after games, you know, and everyone's pretty sore, this would be pretty full and we'll have a lot of guys sort of relaxing and trying to uh, work off the game a little bit. I think our locker room is pretty special. Um, you know, when I was being recruited and visiting, it was definitely one of the nicer ones that I saw. It was brand new at that point. And, uh, you know, I think we have a wide range of stuff here that guys can do. You know, there's TVs in every rows. Uh, we have video games. Uh, you know, there's plenty of room for everyone. And, and I think it just helps guys, uh, you know, if they need a place to go during the day or, you know, they've got some time to kill before practice. You know, they're in here and, you know, hanging out with their teammates. and. You know, we're spending time together outside of practice and lift and run, and uh, which is good because I think you know you don't always want to be focused on the cross and and getting better. And, and when you can do it in an environment like this where it's safe and you know there's no way anyone's getting in trouble or, or doing anything wrong, it, it, it can't hurt. And uh, you know we have a bunch of guys on our team, so the more we can get to know each other, especially early in the year, um, you know freshmen and seniors maybe spending more time together in here than they would outside of the locker room. 
uh, is good for team camaraderie and it's something that you need moving forward down the season. 2014 was a magical run for Albany's Lyle Thompson. He won the Tourton Trophy, broke the NCAA record for points in a single season, and was a human highlight reel. Who's going to come up with it? It's Lyle Thompson. 